Ever since ancient times, there have been many myths and legends about incredible treasures and priceless objects. And yet, no matter how invaluable they are, somehow the world has lost track of them. These objects are highly sought after, and many will do anything to be the first person to find them. Gold, a precious diamond, an ancient treasure, or a mysterious stone, many people would go as far as to risk their lives if it meant finding even one of these precious objects. In this video, we'll look at some of the most desired missing objects. From the gold in the Lost Dutchman mine to the Florentine diamond, here are the 15 most wanted lost objects in the world. Number 15. Lost Dutchman Mine If you're from Arizona, you probably know about the famous legend of the unfathomable riches of the Lost Dutchman Mine. This place is shrouded in mystery, and aside from riches, it's also tied with curses, strange deaths, and missing people. Lots of missing people. At least that's what the legend says. For more than 120 years, the legend of the Lost Dutchman Mine has been passed down from generation to generation. The Superstition Mountains have been a mysterious location since the early times. Experts believe the Superstition Mountains were formed more than 18 million years ago by volcanic activity. It's known to be filled with ancient cliff dwellings, caves, and locations devoid of human life. I guess it makes sense that a cave filled with treasure would be located on an equally mysterious mountain. The Lost Dutchman Mine is named after German immigrant Jacob Waltz, who allegedly discovered the mine in the 19th century. The mine is filled with gold, which would make anyone rich. But of course, he kept the location a secret. Many people have searched for the gold mines in hopes of getting their hands on the precious stone themselves. And yet, all of them have failed so far. But then again, if anyone does find it, would they even share it with the rest of the world? Or do you think it's most likely that just like Waltz, they would keep the mine a secret? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. George Mallory's Lost Camera Born on June 18, 1886, George Herbert Lee Mallory was an English mountaineer who was most known for participating in the first three British expeditions to Mount Everest in the early 1920s. Climbing the summit is an extremely difficult task. It reaches an elevation of 29,032 feet, making it the highest mountain in the world. Climbers trying to reach the summit all expect the dangers that come with it. Aside from the possibility of falling down, the climate and temperature on Mount Everest is unforgiving. As you reach further up the mountain, you could suffer from altitude sickness, which can include headaches, nausea, dizziness, and exhaustion. Today, over 200 bodies can be found on Mount Everest, and most of them were once hopeful climbers that tried to achieve their dreams. Didn't mean to sound so negative there. Mallory is only one of the many climbers that tried to achieve his dreams of reaching the summit of the highest mountain in the world. Sadly, he perished on the mountain. Mallory's frozen body was found in 1999, many years after he first stepped foot on the mountain. One of the questions that most people had was if Mallory reached the top of the mountain and perished on his way down, or if he died just before he reached the top. And so, the search for Mallory's camera began. Surely they would have taken a photo after reaching the top, right? If it were proven to be true, it would prove that George Mallory and his companion Andrew Irvine were the first to summit Everest. To this day, the camera was never found, and perhaps the search will continue for many more years. Number 13. Romanov Easter Eggs Who would have thought that an Easter egg could cost millions of dollars? Well, the Romanov Easter Eggs are unlike any other. While we usually decorate regular eggs for the holiday, a royal family has enough power and money to celebrate Easter in an extra special way. The first jeweled egg was commissioned more than 130 years ago by Tsar Alexander III of Russia. Peter Karl Fabergé was responsible for creating the precious egg, meant to be an Easter gift for Empress Maria Fedorovna. Upon seeing the egg, the Tsar immediately made up his mind to place another order for the following year, and eventually it became an annual tradition. His son also adopted the tradition during his reign. In total, the family ordered 44 eggs, all made of priceless stones and precious metals. Today, eight of the precious imperial eggs are still missing. Whoever has them will definitely be celebrating Easter extravagantly for the rest of their lives. After all, a single Romanov egg has an estimated value of a whopping $33 million. Number 12. Love's Labors One. If you think I've made a mistake in the title, then you most likely have heard of William Shakespeare. 
Everyone likely knows Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, The Merchant of Venice, and other literary works, including Love's Labor's Lost. Love's Labor's Lost is one of Shakespeare's early comedies that was to be performed before Queen Elizabeth I. The story is about the King of Navarre and his other three companions who fell in love against their will. The literary piece on its own is incredible. However, there have been claims that Shakespeare wrote a sequel for the play entitled Love's Labor's One. Quite fitting, right? The problem is, there are no surviving copies, at least none that we know of. The play's title could be read in several documents written in the 1590s and 1600s. This means that copies of the sequel were still sold in 1603, and yet none have surfaced. There are claims that an actual copy survives today, but so far Love's Labors One is still the subject of debates. I would bet that any Shakespeare fans would be delighted if a copy of Love's Labors One was found. After all, Nothing beats the satisfaction of finishing a book and discovering that it has a sequel. Number 11. Holy Grail The last cup from which Jesus drank during the Last Supper, and the vessel used by Joseph of Arimathea to collect Christ's blood during the crucifixion. With its significance, it's no wonder that the Holy Grail is sought after by many people. While many believe it's nothing but a mythical object, others have different theories about the whereabouts of this holy object. We don't have much knowledge about the whereabouts of the Holy Grail, but the generally accepted theory is that the Holy Grail was kept by Joseph of Arimathea who traveled to Glastonbury, England after the crucifixion of Christ. But there are other theories pointing to the location of the Grail in different places in Europe. Several archaeologists claim that they have found the Holy Grail in the Basilica of San Isidro in Leon, Spain. There are also claims that it was in Valencia and Montserrat, because the Holy Grail is not just a valuable treasure, but a holy object for Christians as well, many are inclined to find its whereabouts. Number 10. The Irish Crown Jewels One of the most precious treasures of royal families is their regalia and crowns. These symbolize their power, position, and authority. And yet, in 1907, someone dared to steal the crown jewels of Ireland. Well, they're called crown jewels, but this treasure isn't connected with any coronation ceremony, nor is it a crown. It's not linked to the monarchy, but to an elite aristocratic order founded in 1783, the Order of St. Patrick. The crown jewels consist of heavily jeweled star and badge regalia created by the sovereign and grandmaster of the order. The Irish crown jewels were kept in Dublin Castle, guarded by the Ulster King of Arms and his staff. It was protected 24-7. In 1903, a safe room was built in the castle, but the crown jewels remained outside the strong room in the library because the safe which held the jewels was too large to fit the doorway. In order to get to the jewel, seven latch keys were needed. All seven keys have different caretakers, but according to legends, after a night of drinking, the keys were misplaced and got into the hands of the wrong people. On July 6, 1907, the door to the safe room was found wide open. The caretakers weren't alarmed until four days later when they realized that the crown jewels were missing. The crown jewels are worth more than $20 million today. No one has seen the treasure though, and it still remains to be one of Ireland's greatest mysteries. Number 9. Ark of the Covenant The Ark of the Covenant was a chest that held the tablets engraved with the Ten Commandments. For centuries it has been among the most sought-after religious relics of all time. Many have tried to locate the Ark of the Covenant, and yet no one has successfully found it. It was vividly described in the Bible where it was said to be about the size of a 19th century seaman's chest made purely out of gold-plated wood, and on top of it are two large angels, also made out of the precious metal. It was said that in 597 and 586 BC, the Babylonian Empire conquered the Israelites, and at the time, the Ark was hidden in a temple in Jerusalem. No one knows what happened after, but today there are people claiming that the Ark of the Covenant is being protected in the St. Mary of Zion Cathedral. However, many are skeptical about its existence because the church authorities have never allowed anyone to see the tablets to check if it's authentic. Only the appointed guardian is allowed to see and touch the Ark of the Covenant, but visitors are allowed to pray near to where it's stored. Number 8. The Amber Room The Amber Room also known as the Eighth Wonder of the World, is one of the longest standing mysteries on the planet. Just as its name suggests, the Amber Room was a chamber adorned with amber panels and decorated with gold leaf and mirrors. This room was located in the Catherine Palace of Tsarskoye Selo near St. Petersburg. 
It was supposed to be a symbol of a pact that finalized the Prussian-Russian international collaboration. It was built in the 18th century in Prussia, but the Amber Room was soon dismantled and it wasn't long until it disappeared during World War II. None of the room's panels nor artworks have been seen since it was disassembled and taken to Germany. Today, the Amber Room is worth more than $140 million, and the search for this missing precious room still continues to this day. Number 7. The Knights Templar Treasure Knights Templar was a Christian military order from the 12th to 14th centuries. This order has experienced its incredible peak, and it also suffered from a tragic fall. The Templars were first known as a ragtag order of warriors and bodyguards. And yet, over hundreds of years, the order became a business empire that controlled fleets of ships, farms, watermills, and vineyards. They became mighty and renowned. You might have even heard about the Knights Templar today. After their rise to power, they experienced a tragic fall, and they've been the subject of speculation ever since. Today, they're usually mentioned in different conspiracy theories, and they're usually described as a powerful secret society that even at their weakest point didn't completely get destroyed. In their reign of power, the Knights Templar managed to amass a huge mass of treasures. However, when King Philip IV ordered the arrest of hundreds of Knights Templar in 1307, the Templars started to foresee their downfall. The king, threatened by their wealth and power, claimed the lives of hundreds of them, and it wasn't long until a purge began. The Templars were forced to go into hiding, and the organization went underground. An iron box with biblical motifs, alabaster vessels, relics. The Knights Templar had it. There are even claims that the Knights Templar are actually the guardians of the Ark of the Covenant. All of these treasures were stored in hidden locations, only known to a trusted few. As a secret organization, it's not really surprising that no one has any idea about the secret hideouts they had, or where their precious treasures are. But for decades, it's not only historians and scholars that have been intrigued by the Knight Templar's bounty, but treasure hunters around the world as well. Number 6. Sappho's Lost Poems Sappho was a Greek poet known for her lyric poetry. Her works were meant to be sung accompanied by music. In her time, she was known as one of the greatest lyric poets and was even given titles like the Tenth Muse and the Poetess. Despite being a fairly regarded figure in ancient times, we know very little about her. Now you might be wondering, why do we know very little about her, when we know a good amount of information about other ancient Greek figures that lived roughly in the same period as her? Well, some claim that it was deliberately censored and destroyed after her death for the subject she chose to write about. Sappho was most known for writing about love, and I guess at the time, people considered it too unambiguous and inappropriate. She sang and wrote about poems that told of topics considered to be taboo during her time. However, time has changed the view of people, and today, many express the desire to search for Sappho's lost creations. After all, she reportedly wrote around 10,000 lines of poetry, and yet today, only about 650 lines survive. Number 5. The Library of the Moscow Tsars Also known as the Golden Library, the Lost Library of the Moscow Tsars is said to have been assembled by the Grand Duke Ivan III of Russia in the 16th century. He is known as Ivan the Great. The library was said to have contained a massive and extensive collection of ancient Greek texts and other literary works in other languages. Latin, Egyptian, and even Chinese texts can be found in the library. It was the epitome of knowledge and information at the time. And yet, it was said that a man named Ivan IV, most popularly known as Ivan the Terrible, hid the library's texts. The Great built the extensive library, and the Terrible caused its disappearance. I guess that makes sense. Ivan the Great was known to be a fantastic ruler that managed to expand Russia and introduce a new legal system. After his death, Ivan IV, his grandson, ascended to power and became the first official Tsar. He was a fearsome leader who didn't hesitate to do anything for power. During his reign, Ivan the Terrible even tried to have scholars translate ancient texts and do research for him to gain knowledge of black magic. And in his final moments, Ivan IV cursed the library, claiming that anyone that came close to locating the books would die. Several people have tried to look for the library, but so far they're all unsuccessful. So we still don't know if the library is actually cursed. It might not be filled with jewels, but it holds centuries worth of information worth its weight in gold. And now it's time for today's topic. Here are two of the most wanted lost objects in the world. 
This photo shows two objects that have been considered important objects for many years. The photo on the left purportedly shows a painting created by Leonardo da Vinci himself. If this is indeed a painting created by da Vinci, it can easily be considered a priceless piece of art. This painting was allegedly lost for many years, but it was found in the midst of the Second World War, only to be lost once again. Today, we don't know where it is, or who's holding this magnificent painting. The photo on the right is the alleged Philosopher's Stone. In alchemy, it's a substance that has been the subject of interest of alchemists for its capability to transform base materials into precious ones like gold and silver. It's also said to be an ingredient to make an elixir of life that can make anyone who drinks it immortal. Sounds pretty far-fetched, I know. The similarity between these two is that while both are objects sought after by many people, they're objects that aren't confirmed to be real. No one knows if they actually existed, and if they did, no one knows if they've been destroyed or not. Do you really think these two precious objects exist, or do they only exist in people's minds? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Treasure of El Dorado If you haven't heard of the lost city of El Dorado yet, it's essentially a mythical city located somewhere in South America. Here, almost everything is made with gold, and they have an abundance of gold and silver, and they're known to be incredibly wealthy. Between 1530 and 1650, many people tried to search for the lost city in hopes to get even a fraction of the lost city's wealth. They hiked and searched the jungles, mountains, and rivers of South America, reaching even the most remote and dangerous places. I guess anything is possible if you have something precious as your motivation. However, during the process of finding the lost city, some of the people lost their lives. Back then, it was quite normal for many to risk their lives to seek gold and fortune. After all, what several years of exploring the wilderness if in exchange you'd not only get recognized, but also a huge amount of money? Number 3. Dead Sea Scroll Treasures Since we're already talking about lost treasure, here's finally one with a map. In 1946, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in the caves near the town of Kalya in Palestine. After further excavations, archaeologists found 972 more scrolls. The text written on the scrolls were written in a style similar to Mishnaic Hebrew. It was an exciting discovery, but archaeologists and treasure hunters became more intrigued as they found a scroll that contains a list of locations where one could find gold and silver. Essentially, they just found a detailed treasure map. A passage on the scroll claims that one of the ancient treasures was buried at the bottom of the big cistern in the courtyard of Peristyle. Another passage reads, and I quote, Enter into the hole of the waterproofed reservoir of Manos. Descend to the left, 40 talents of silver lie three cubits from the bottom. Most of the texts were pretty cryptic and a bit hard to decipher. But hey, if you're going to make someone search for treasure, you gotta at least give them a challenge, right? Number 2. King John's Lost Treasure King John of England lived from 1166 to 1216. He was known to be a notorious collector of jewelry and gold plates, and as a man with power, his collection was impressive. Sadly, while his treasure collection went down in history as impressive, the ruler himself is known to be a monarch that was incompetent and evil, so much so that to this day, King John's name still pops up in folklore, movies, and nursery rhymes, but not in a way he would have wanted. The king allegedly disappeared while traveling on a short and dangerous route filled with swamps. Unfortunately, the king went missing along with his baggage and carts full of jewelry and other precious objects. Number 1. Florentine Diamond The Florentine Diamond is a yellow 137 carat stone that likely came from India and somehow made its way to Europe. The exact story of how it ended up on the continent is unknown. The story of this diamond is hard to keep track of and its history is filled with a slew of noble owners, popularity, and curses. The story goes that in 1477, Charles the Bold was the owner of the Florentine diamond, and he became so fascinated by it that he even went into battle along with the precious stone. It was said that Charles the Bold died with the diamond still in his possession. It got lost somewhere on the battlefield, perhaps picked up by another person. To this day, we still don't know where the Florentine diamond is, and in case you're wondering, most of the photos of the precious stone you'll see today are replicas made to showcase the beauty of the stone. 
All of the things in this video are precious. But if you're given the chance, which one of these lost objects would you like to discover for yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.